The ticket is set. Joe Biden picking Kamala Harris as his running mate. Eamon Javers joins us and now with more on that and the results of a new CNBC change research a survey on the politics of voting in 2020. I look forward to talking to you at the end of this, uh, Eamon, about the, the way it played out yesterday. I was watching the betting sites and everything else, but tell us what you know, and then, and then let's talk if, if we have some time. Yeah. Yeah, sure, Joe, absolutely. Kamala Harris, 55, a Democratic senator from California. Sort of the expected pick, but an interesting pick here because uh, for Joe Biden, Kamala Harris does not represent sort of the traditional progressive left. She says she's not a Democratic socialist, making an explicit division between herself and sort of the Bernie Sanders wing of the Democratic Party. Her signature economic proposal is a $6,000 tax credit uh, for families making less than $100,000 a year. She says that will go a long way to addressing income inequality in this country, and she's proposed eliminating tax cuts for corporations and the top 1%. So a lot to look for here in terms of her economic record, but as with all vice presidential picks, their policies very quickly morph to be the, vice pre the, to be the president's policies. So I think you're going to see Kamala Harris here echoing Joe Biden very much on the campaign trail. Now to this States of Play poll, looking at what to expect in November. Look, Joe, nobody has ever conducted a general election uh, in a pandemic before, but that's what's going to happen. And what we're picking up here is some real softness in terms of the expectations about the mechanics of all this. Take a look at this. Confidence in mail-in voting, only 50% are confident their ballot will be counted and secure. In a nation whose system of governance depends on confidence in election results, that 50-50, not really a very good number. But a whole lot of people say they are planning on voting by mail anyway. 38% of respondents say they're more likely to vote by mail, while 22% said they would vote in person before Election Day. That leaves just 36 percent who say they'll vote in person on Election Day. That gives you a sense of just how complicated the vote count is going to be and just how long it might take to get the results this year. And then finally, will Election Day itself be safe? Well, 63 percent of voters say yes, it will. But a large number, 37 percent, say they're not confident it will be safe. So a large number of Americans, Joe, don't have confidence Election Day will be safe. A large number plan on voting by mail, and that gives you a sense of just how complicated all this can be on Election Night, which a lot of people are now starting to think of as maybe Election Week this year, Joe.